But to return to Andy Murray's victory in the US Open Tennis Championship, his own first Grand Slam win, and the first by a British male tennis player in 76 years. It provided the perfect end to a golden summer of sport, which included the first ever British win in the Tour de France, as well as a range of successes in the Olympics and Paralympics. But no such success or perhaps affection for our footballers. So are we reordering our sporting priorities? I'm joined now by the broadcaster, football fan and former cabinet minister David Meller, and by the author and comedian Tony Hawks, who co-founded the charity Tennis for Free, which works to get people from all backgrounds out onto the tennis court. Well, uh, equally famously, you played tennis with every member of the Moldovan football team, which had just been beaten 5-0 by... But we'll come to football in a moment. Let's yes. stick with tennis. Okay. Your observations in, in bringing about this football for, this uh, tennis for free, yeah. uh, I mean, do you think, in fact, that, that long period uh, till now... Mm -hmm is a result of uh, the fact that it's so class-bound and difficult for people to play tennis? I think, actually, football and tennis is very interesting because if you, if, you, if you asked most English football squads if they played tennis when they were growing up, they'd probably say no. And in, in, until we're able to say to every international footballer in the country, were you given a tennis racket when you were growing up at school or in the park, we've got that same problem. I played it because my dad took up tennis in the local park and I was lucky enough to have five minutes coaching at the end of his lesson that he played. And I played it because I'm posh. E exactly. Yes. There you are, you see. But, I mean, hadn't failed to notice you. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, wait till you see the tennis. There is a great opportunity here to build on the success of Andy Murray and the Olympics and say, you know, we've got to go to councils. Why are you charging so much for people to use tennis courts when this is what we want people to do? It's free to look at the flowers. They cost a lot of money to grow in parks and keep there and nurture. A bit of tarmac five six pounds sometimes in london sometimes 12 pound an hour to play on public tennis courts that aren't even in good condition well it is odd isn't it david well i mean the the obsession in this country is with football and people say that we are more obsessed with football even than the italians yes and i think indeed you know i've just come back from italy uh, where learned discussions take place in the bar i frequent in capri about the merits of english football teams 20 years ago you wouldn't have even thought of English football. They wouldn't have even known we played football. <laughs> um, I think football has become an international commodity and the Premier League has become greatly valued around the world. But is it to the exclusion of other critical yes. sports like tennis, for example? Yes, I think that, um, <clears throat> you see, it's all about money. And we have a paradox here that the more they get, the less well they perform, which I suppose what was what Roy Keane said, you know, that uh, all the players had their mansions and their Rolexes and their fast cars. So the incentive to actually go out and win things wasn't that great. Now, we shouldn't knock our football too much, but I'm afraid the temptation is, you know, a friend of mine in PR who represents Lonnie Field said, I've never met a footballer and haven't felt disappointed afterwards. So well, there is this sense that footballers are not actually... You know, the but sort this of guys is, this that is, are... This is the nub of the story, isn't it? Too. Because, yeah. really, this great summer of sport mm -hmm. has not been about football. It has been yeah. about tennis, it has been about Olympics, it's been about the turn about mm -hmm. cycling above all. Yeah. But the real test, I mean, the, one of the things that keeps football there is kids can go out in a park and kick a football about for hours and not be charged for it. Mm -hmm. We've got to, in this aftermath, we've got to stop charging people to do the very things we want to See, do. I agree we have that. to make it free. I agree with that so much. You know, when well, I was one of the founding fathers, I guess, Funka Pompsi, of the National Lottery, I always wanted the lottery to be about giving everybody a sporting chance. Uh, there's well, it no did in the Olympic sports. Oh, yes. I mean, we wouldn't have got where we are in the Olympics without, oh, no, no. without yeah. that the, money, the, the without the John Major oh, money, which is in your era. Anymore. I think that the, 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 the giving the money, I also wish to chair Sports Aid Foundation, we had to raise money for Olympic uh, training uh, costs. It was an impossible task. And so the lottery done wonderfully well there. But, you know, my belief is, when you look at the proportion of medal winners who go to public schools, you know, we shouldn't use this as part of a sort of class war, uh, but it certainly isn't that public school kids are better than state mm. school kids. It is that, you know, if you're a state school uh, uh, person in an inner city, what chance do you get to row? What chance do you get to play tennis? What chance do you get to do a lot of sports? And, th and it's rather sad, actually. So many people go through life who might have had great aptitude, but we have done nothing to allow them to discover right. that aptitude. Well, well now, this summer has been about five, six million people in the flesh watching sports, many of them never knew about. I mean, yeah. wheelchair racing, I mean, the rest of it. I mean, absolutely incredible. Yeah. What are we going to do to bring about this infection and enthusiasm of spontaneous sport for sports that are not football that might perhaps affect football? 
in fact, football to be a nicer, more pleasant, charming, lovely place, like the Olympic Park. Who wants to go and watch Spurs or Arsenal or any the rest West of West Ham, is it? Well, really? I mean, you know, I, West I Ham round the corner from Stratford. Well, I think I, people will keep watching football. Uh, it, that, that's just going to happen because it's just everywhere. But the thing, the key thing is they watched a lot of sport this summer. You know, we've got to get people playing it. We want the nation to be healthy. We want people to enjoy themselves. And it's no good just having people. We want everyone, 50, 60, 70, 80 year old. When we do our tennis for free in the parks, we get 70 year old people playing with kids. It's fantastic. We've got to get more of that. And I hope we've seen an end now of you know, anti-competition in schools. The teachers, are, my father was a state school teacher, by the way, I'm not deriding them, but I think teachers and people have got to go in, there are plenty of people with experience of sport who could go in after school and teach kids some of the sports that are, you know, what we used to think of as Cinderella sports. Participation matters. It's giving people who are enthusiastic the opportunity to see whether they'd be any good. Right, well let me end you on a, on, on a question about this face here. Is it the face of the summer? Or is Wiggins the face of the summer? Or... Who is the, or Mo, or who? Who well, do we end up with? Who well, you being biased towards tennis, I can say yeah. him. Well he, well, he won the Olympic gold and the US Open, so he snuck in with one extra one, didn't he? He got in there. But, you know, it's fantastic, because he's taken a lot of stick. But, you know, at the end of the day, as a very young man, he has worked so hard to perfect his technique. What he shows is, it's not good enough just to be enthusiastic, you've got to be professional. What he also shows is, as so many of the athletes, particularly our cyclists, you know, when I was right. in this of a sport, there wasn't even a villager. Yeah. But you've got to have the backup. Right, he's well, got the that backup. seems to be unison from the two of you, so thank you very much indeed both for coming in.